Welcome to lesson 11 with EFT tapping and A Course in Miracles workbook. You can go back to lesson one or read the description for a little context of what this is all about. So lesson 11 is my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world, which is a pretty loaded statement. So let's jump into the tapping. And again, we'll be able to do the exercise, one of the practice periods together while we're actually doing the tapping. And I'll explain it as we're doing it in the round. So, repeating after me, tapping on the side of the hand, even though I am being told that not only are my thoughts meaningless, but that the whole world they are showing me is also meaningless. And I choose to honor and accept myself and any reactions I have to such a statement, even though this lesson suggests that my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. I choose to honor myself and any reactions I have to such an idea, even though this lesson is asking me to say that not only are my thoughts meaningless, but that they are showing me the world and that this world is also meaningless. And I might have some feelings about that. And that might sound kind of nice for the things I don't particularly like. But there are a lot of things in this world, a lot of people perhaps in this world, that don't exactly feel meaningless. And so maybe I'm not exactly sure what's being referred to here. But I am told that the key to forgiveness lies in this and that this is a foundation for my inner peace. So as best I can, I'll be open to this and be totally honoring and accepting of any feelings that this brings up in me. Okay, now tapping through the points, my meaningless thoughts. That's been emphasized a few times. Once again, I'm being told my thoughts are meaningless. but that my thoughts are also showing me a meaningless world. The text for today's lesson says that this is some kind of correction, that even though it seems that the world that I see determines how I feel and what I perceive. This says that the thoughts, that my thoughts determine the world I see. And if I think of yesterday's lesson, that the thoughts I normally perceive are meaningless. And that's being reinforced. This might be a little confusing. 
And what are these real thoughts that are being alluded to? But I choose to, as best I can, relax trying to figure it out and trust in the idea that this is somehow supposed to cause <laughs> or be the foundation for, quote, peace, relaxation, and freedom from worry. Well, that sounds pretty good. So now I will try the exercise. First, I'm to close my eyes. and repeat slowly to myself. So eyes closed, repeating to yourself, my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. Gently open your eyes. And now I'm allowing myself to look around the room, near, far, up or down, with no hurry or effort. And as my eyes glance upon any object, I will repeat, my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. So let's do that now together. Okay, so you're going to keep tapping and just glancing around the room in an unhurried fashion. And we'll just be repeating the phrase. You'll hear me repeating it. You can repeat it in your own mind as well. As your eyes lay on any object. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. And it suggests for your eyes to move fairly rapidly from object to object. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. And I'm honoring myself for doing that practice session. It says that two more will probably be sufficient, but if it feels comfortable, I can do as many as five total today. And I'm just reminding myself, eyes closed, repeating my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world, eyes open, relaxed but fairly rapid movement from one object to another. And as my eyes are glancing around the room, I'm repeating, my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. Okay, take a breath. Yeah, hopefully, I, I like this for helping me to reinforce the instructions for the day because there's subtleties in there, you know, and it can be hard to like go back and forth to the text. Okay, unhurried fashion, eyes are just kind of glancing around the room reinforcing this idea that like the whole world according to this lesson every object we see is meaningless and somehow being projected by our so-called meaningless thoughts so hope you enjoy the practice sessions for the rest of the day curious as always to hear any thoughts feelings emotions 
that uh, this exercise or any of the others bring up for you. I will see you tomorrow for, what is it, lesson number 12. I will see you then. Thanks.